Robbie Weeds here, standing in front of a pin oak. And as you can see, it's quite defoliated. Uh, these are oak worms. You see the orange stripe and the two horns out front are the two antennae. Um, these are adults. Adults uh, um, come out late August, early September. Um, sometimes uh, once they get older, they drop to the ground and you can see them crawling across sidewalks and such. Um, though the adults cause a lot of damage, they end up spreading out. Their larvae earlier in the year cause the most damages. They really clump together and uh, move as one mass across the tree and defoliate everything. Um, so targeting the larva for control is usually ideal. Um, that's how you're gonna stop them from really causing damage. At this point, as they're adults, they're spreading out, getting ready to drop to the ground. They uh, pupate in the ground. Um, they'll drop, dig a little hole three, four inches down, and that's where they'll turn into their moth adult self. Um, control of these guys, like I said, you wanna target uh, the younger larva. These, this is the oldest stage of larva. Um, the younger larva you're spraying with either orthene, the s systemic to get on the leaves, or uh, you're spraying them directly with uh, bifenthrin or any other pyrethroid. Um, the issue with the pyrethroids, even orthene, because it's only locally systemic, uh, if you spray it foliarly, um, sometimes the larvae are so, uh, have such a large population that you won't get them all. And even a small uh, subset of the population is enough to continue defoliation. So whatever insecticide you're use, using, whether it's a pyrethroid, um, I would probably even say uh, carbaryl would, uh, that's great for caterpillars. It also kills a lot of other things, but um, I would go pyrethroid or orthene, um, and I would do it uh, at first onset of um, damage. You can see a large uh, clump of them here. Um, yeah, the like uh, you can see, there's still a ton of foliage left on this uh, pin oak. So obviously uh, there wasn't a ton of them, um, young larva. But these are very disgusting, and if a customer saw this, they would want it treated. So you're going out there with Talstar, spraying them, um, and really making sure you're soaking the whole leaf. So uh, yeah, this is uh, late August, and that's when you're going to see uh, the really dark color of them in the larger larger ones but um you want to target uh and look for them especially if you've had um issues uh the previous year that you're looking in this late spring for the younger oak worms and um uh that's when you're trying to get control of them where you're spraying orthene um in late spring to get the systemic control and hopefully get a residual so if you do have a population the issue is is when these drop they can crawl very far looking for a place to pupate so having this tree have them this year. Um, these adults, if not treated, could drop. And uh, there's a ton of pin oaks here and it could cause damage um, a half mile down the road just because uh, they're gonna crawl uh, a couple, um, a little bit, a couple hundred meters, pupate, and then uh, the moth could fly, lay its eggs a couple hundred meters further. And then, you know, by the time next year's uh, larva come ar around, it's a half mile down the road. So. It's a very good idea if you have a population like this where you do have significant uh, significant uh, defoliation to get some uh, insecticide control. Um, yeah, that would be my recommendation. This is uh, oak worm, the orange stripe with the orange stripe. Uh, um, Robbie weeds out.